Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, rewards day in FIBA 21. Bundesliga team of the season rewards are today. So it's going to be very exciting trying to get the big boy blues in our red picks. And of course, if you open any of those packs today of the team of the season guaranteed related to the ultimate tots or the elite tots packs, good luck if you're opening any of those. And of course, in your regular packs as well, I want to talk about the market today and what I see happening in a couple hours from when this video is released at the rewards time and what I see happening today on Thursday for the content as well. Well, now we've had not one, but two guaranteed TOTS SBCs. I can't believe EA actually dropped a second one two days in a row back to back. Uh, honestly, not entirely sure what happened with that one, if it was a mix up or if it was planned like that all the way along. But these TOTS cards are moving. Now, right now, only like one of the team of the season cards from the entire squad of the Bundesliga is down a lot. And that is this Muller card. And he is down because of the Danny Olmo five star skill SBC that we had yesterday. Five-star skill upgrade for this 91 rated card. A decent amount of thumbs up, right? 2,000 thumbs up because, again, that skill move boost, the pace boost, plus 20 pace over his inform. This is a really good-looking card, and it provides great links with Leipzig links and also uh, Spanish, right? Because we just came out of La Liga team of the season, so I think a lot of people are doing this SBC which is why this Muller card went down. We're also going to talk about SBC fodder today because, again, with these rewards, it's going to be a very interesting day. You know, last week with La Liga rewards, it's I think it's going to be kind of similar to that, but I think these Tots Bundesliga cards might move a bit more. You'll see some of them maybe dip just for the slightest amount of time right when rewards drop, and then, you know, a lot of the most OP and desirable ones are probably going to rise up because they are very rare. People are going to get coins today from rewards, and buy those cards up. You know, we even had some price range updates today on the big three, which I'm calling the big three, Sancho, Goretzka, and Lewandowski. Sancho was upgraded from, uh, you know, 3 million coin max to 3 point, or like a 4 million coin max, like a huge, huge max boost uh, on this card. And he's chilling right now. Again, super duper rare. Now, these cards are going to get supplied today from top 100 packs when the rewards come out. But I honestly think that since these cards are so rare and probably a decent amount of the people getting coins today, I'm going to want to try out these, these top tier cards because, of course, specifically for Lewandowski and Sancho, we haven't had a ton of attackers as a part of Bundesliga team of the season. So I'm really wondering today if especially some of the strikers in this game, and that's where I've kind of tried to focus some of my Thursday flipping adventures uh, on the striker positions in this game, if that is going to be a place that goes up a bit more today because we've only had a lot of defenders and some midfielders out of, as the SBCs a part of this promo. So I'm kind of interested in that. Um, but honestly, I do think today for these TOTS cards, it's going to be a mixed bag. Cards like Hummels, um, cards like potentially Muller, potentially Baku, Angelino, Andre Silva, Sabitzer, those cards probably won't move too much. They're going to get supplied, probably drop off a little bit. But cards like Davies, Coman, um, Goretzka, Kimmich, Holland, Sancho, Lewandowski, and Lacroix, those guys are really in demand. They really are going to be in a lot of demand today. And just the fact that these cards are so rare, again, I think you might see, especially on the lower tier ones, right? Like Kingsley Coman with those links to the Rusillian objective card. And just, just the fact that this card is so rare. I mean, he's 300,000 coins right now. He's going to get supplied a little bit today. But these, these cards are generally just so rare compared to other team of the seasons. We were looking at it today on stream and last night's video. I think that rarity is going to cause some of them to go up a bit today as people go out and want to buy them for their team. So I think you might see a bit of an uptick here on some of these cards. Davies would be one of them. I mean, this card is still a lot cheaper than what the team of the year is. And you know what? This is the best Bundesliga left back in the game. Rusillian is out, of course, but this guy is on the market. He's got the Bayern links, and he's, of course, hyped. So, I mean, I think this card's going to be one that rises up a decent amount today. And those top-tier guys like the Sancho, Goretzka, and Lewandowski with the coins coming on the game, I think, uh, especially with the price range updates and how rare these cards are, I mean, Sancho could really be going up a couple of 100K more today, in my opinion. We'll have to see if that is the case today. But for the rest of the market... A lot of the Bundesliga specials are up. A lot of Serie A specials are up. People, this, this week, it seems like people were not very interested in the upgrade packs as much this week. So they went out and they invested, right? This in Kunku, that's a bit of an undercut at 119, but he's hovering around the 128 to 130,000 coin range. Um, a lot of your Bundesliga specials are up because I think people uh, saw 
how some of those did last week during La Liga. Um, I mean, if you remember guys like Ansu Fati's um, card went from 1.1 mil all the way to 1.4 on rewards day. And you had some of your other special cards from like Yuri Berchiche, right? Um, a cheap left back option that was very meta last week. He did very, very well as a La Liga card. Um, after awards, I think it's going to be the same way again today. It's going to be just a mixed bag. Some of your Bundesliga special cards are going to do well, and I think some of them are not going to do well because they're some of them are a bit overinvested. And you know, especially for a lot of the right backs and the center backs, I'm I'm genuinely curious for the right backs and the center backs inside of Bundesliga. If people are you know going to go use Mukiele and Alaba today, are they going to buy those up even more to finish out teams? Because again, let's face it. People really aren't going out and buying cards off of the rest of the market. Today, it's all about getting the red picks. Maybe you can put that red pick in your team. I feel like more than ever during team of the season, people focus on those red picks. I mean, look what I did. Last week, I got Benzema, so I went out and, and fit him in my team. The Tots cards is red picks. People are all about trying to get those in their squads. So if it's not Bundesliga this week, I don't expect a big rise. Tamori was 220,000 coins. He is 260K. Now, if you have Serie A special cards, you're holding on tight to those, right? Those are probably going to be their highest as we head into Friday with Serie A team of the season upcoming. Um, and if you want to sell on the hype with those, I think that's going to be a great time to do it. Now, with specific Bundesliga cards today, um, there was one card that I just saw, that, like this Buendia. Now, this isn't a Bundesliga card, but I got this at 126 earlier. This is not really, I mean, maybe a super sub for some people, but this isn't a guy that people are focusing on. And he's been around 140,000 coins-ish during the week uh, in the past two days or so and I bought one today at a pretty good price so if he's like 150 right now he is 141 with some overnights in the 148 149 range I might list this literally right now at like 146 or 147k because this I feel like it's not going to be the focus today except for a super sub for some people and you know what I will take my like 12k after tax profit right there on that card not bad at all so I've got some Nkunku's that I bought in the low 110s uh, I got this Eto at 780, and again, this is a striker card that, you know, he's pretty rare in the market, and right now the cheapest one is 840, so I'm in the money already, but I kind of look to some of the attackers cards, right? I bought some of these um, Gunters because I think there, there was no left back besides it from the objective Rusillian, uh, and that's German links with that Gunter card, so I do feel like that kind of card might be invested in today. I'm worried about overinvesting a little bit. I am worried about the overinvesting on an Akuku card, on a Gunter type card, Emre Chan, you know, uh, Klosterman, Alaba's Road to the Final. I'm a little bit worried on the overinvesting on those sorts of sorts of cards, but. Still today, I'm going to watch those because I think they could have a potential to go up. I probably won't sell them pre-6 p.m. or pre-rewards, right? I mean, I'm only cashing out on that Buendia because he is up 20K pre-rewards. But I'm trying right now to take a look at some of the uh, out-of-packs market, some of these icons specifically that are more strikers and attackers, um, especially like central cards. Like I'm trying to watch this Eto, Pushkas. Um, just to see if there are any deals that I can pick up on late tonight um, that I'd be able to flip because again, I feel like that striker category and that attacker category could do well today at rewards. Oh, wow. There's an open bid on a push guys. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but I really like this part of the market because I do think there are some deals to be had there. So it's going to be a very, very interesting day, um, with the actual special and meta cards that are in packs, people buying teams for weekend league and all that sort of stuff. But what I also want to take a look at is SBC fodder, because this stuff is obviously, as you guys know, to the moon and the biggest the second biggest thing that's going to happen today besides just these team of the season Bundesliga cards that are going to be talked about that are going to be moving on the market the biggest thing in my opinion is going to happen today apart from that is people finishing SBCs people are going to be going out finishing tap soba they you know they have no fodder in the club maybe they want to do the 85 plus player pick or the guaranteed tots pack fodder is going to have a huge huge uh emphasis on it today on this game index 84 we were at 380 points yesterday before the content drop again a second guaranteed bundles league came out yesterday and the fodder 84 market was basically 84s were almost extinct right i mean you had these guys up literally at max price unable to find them on the market 500 points on the index and we dropped back down to 404 now if you're somebody who's watching this video and you're like on at rewards or an hour or two after rewards i would 100 100% 100 
be on the market bidding on 83 to 86 rated cards because they're going to get supplied with rewards and what people are going to do is they're going to go back out and do all of those SBCs that they haven't quite completed yet or they needed coins to complete and people are going to go out and they're going to be buying these cards the same ones that went up yesterday and the day before these are the things that are going to be going up so like 86 is you know they've dropped off they're like 20 26 25,000 coins which most of them were at 30k earlier today as you can see, the index was at 374, went to almost 500, and is now back down to 400 lows. So I would watch your 86s, I'd watch your 85s, and I'd watch your 84s. Uh, that's sort of the area of the market today because, wow, 85s, goodness me, 330 to 391, down to 320. Wow, okay, 85s might be the move technically based off of this graph right here. So I'd watch 84 through 86s. Bids and snipes during rewards is gonna be great because kind of what you're gonna see is you, you see this drop off right here. It's gonna go a little bit lower during rewards and then it's gonna trickle back up as we get towards 6 p.m. because people are gonna get that fodder in their club from rewards and they're gonna go out and finish all of these SBCs that they wanna get involved with. So again, that's the one thing that also makes me think, hey, this market might not rise too much today because people are probably focused on finishing this Bellingham SBC, the Mbabu SBC. Uh, so it's gonna be players that people are gonna to want to link to these new SBC cards and their red picks from rewards that they will be getting and getting their teams ready for this weekend. So that's my opinion on what's going on with the market right now. Now, today's content on Thursday, what's going to go on today with that? I honestly think that it's probably not going to be that hype of a Thursday. If you think back to last Thursday, we just had marquee matchups, which was tradable pack supply for the market. And we had, I believe, a player SBC, um, a U23 player SBC. Now we've had the Bellingham U23. So potentially another uh, player SBC today. I don't really know if they're going to give us another of those We've had two of the 85 plus packs that have been released. We've had two of the 83 plus Bundesliga times five. I don't really expect another one of those today. So I'm honestly just expecting a player SBC, marquee matchups, and, and nothing along those lines. But today is going to be the last day to send upgrade packs as well. And as you see, the counter has gone up a little bit. Uh, it seems like the 81 plus player picks have been giving out a little bit more in the last uh, period of time. So I might today actually go ahead and try to snag some more player picks and give us one last send um, on these cards. Now, right now, rare golds are dropping into rewards and they're actually getting pretty cheap. Uh, we're looking at like a thousand coins, 1100 coins for some of these rare golds. As people, as you can see here, these are second owners, right? These are people that have been vested in these gold rare cards that are selling them because they're scared of the reward supply. Rare gold cards and upgrade packs are going to be their cheapest today on Thursday, like right now and into the rewards time frame an hour or two after because people are going to be listing those cards up. And if you do want to build a lot of upgrade packs, it's going to be a very cheap time to do it. It's going to be a great time to do it. So um, if you're on around the rewards time frame or even before, like as you see these cards getting listed up. That is a thing you can definitely do as well. I'm going to be hitting a few more of those today. And I've been working on the icon swaps too. I did my 81 times 25. And uh, I packed a couple decent things from that. But I'm working on the Amiri, the Corona card, and the... Whoa, I got this. I'm working on this too. Ayo. Oh, goodness, man. I got. I forgot about this, bro. I got to win a squad battles match and play seven. Wow, I'm going to get a 45k pack for the stream tomorrow as well. And uh, I'm working on icon swaps. That's the whole point of me doing this. I'm working on the... Um, the I'm doing UCL and Portuguese, and then I'm going to do Air Divisi and the Silver. So getting some icon swap tokens sorted for the boys tonight and also completing moments Amiri and Corona at the same time. SBC fodder for Corona. Amiri might make it to the team. If I can get Tapsoba done, Bellingham done, we might have to see what the squad looks like after red picks this week as well. But again, for the market today, it's going to be all about people finishing SBC. So I, I feel like the things that are going to go up on the market today are going to be few and far between. So I'm going to be hoping that this stuff, uh, you know, I hope there's a lot of people out there that want to build Bundesliga teams. Honestly, <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of a chance with this. Because again, this, this market does not have a lot of coins right now. Now, there are some cards that have gone up in price for sure. Uh, if we would take a, cl a closer look, you know, some cards that were getting panic sold earlier this week have definitely started to bounce back up. Even high tier ones like Messi Team of the Year was down at like 3.0. Oh, he was under 3.1 million coins. And I believe right now, Messi Team of the Year is right around 3.2. So some of this stuff has rebounded back up a little bit. Um, but if you're somebody who bought some like Thursday flips, um, I do think 
that you will, you, you know, you'll see some of these cards go up, but also you're going to see a lot of people go out and do the SBCs. Again, I think the Bundesliga Tots cards today for me is one of the most interesting sectors of the market to be involved with um, because if you are a, around during the rewards time frame, some of these cards might go very, very cheap and then rebound. Also, there's not going to be a lot of eyes on the current team of the week. I would watch out for a guy like Usman Dembele, who's got a brand new team of the week inform card that came out in yesterday's team of the week, which is not a very high team of the week, but it's Usman Dembele. So I would keep a watch out for this 86 Usman. He's French. He's a right mid Barcelona. And, uh, you know, this drops off massive today with the tradable pack supply. There's not going to be a lot of eyes on it. It's probably going to bounce back. And uh, at some point during this morning, go up in price. So if that's somewhere, if you want to look somewhere different on the market, that's definitely a place where I would look. Now, how much did this Pushkas go for on bid? 600 flat was a decent price. Um, also, just a little bit of a tip. This Pushkas card to me, I'm a little bit leery of overnight. I mean, you got 650, you got a couple overnight listings, 635. This guy just doesn't get super duper rare. Some of these other cards like this Eto is just mega rare after rewards. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on some of these cards that are super rare. And rarity is a huge thing, especially right now in this market where um, there's not as many people buying. If you can find a card that is very rare, doesn't have a lot of listings, but also has a lot of hype. Like this Zidane, I was kind of looking into, but look how many overnights we have here for Zidane. 1.12, you know, uh, 1.2s, 1.09. I would have to see a Zidane in the 1 mil, like 105 or lower type range for me to get interested in those. Now also, Liga Nos Tots. I know there's some cards in this team of the season that you guys might be interested in. Uh, Otavio is getting very cheap. Pedro Goncalves is getting very cheap. These are the most hyped up guys that are a part of this team. They're going to get supplied today, but they're also going to rebound too, in my opinion. Think of guys like Romarino, Buendia, what they did on rewards day. Um, I mean, this, this guy is going to get supplied a little bit, but he's also very meta. So, I mean, if you see this guy like a hundred thousand coins, that's in my opinion, pretty cheap. Same thing with Pedro Goncalves. If you see this guy, like he was just 195 and now he's 205. Um, but if this gets too much, too lower than like 200,000 coins, like maybe 175 or something, huge drop off yesterday. These cards still have demand. People are, you know, hyped about these brand new ones. They're going to try them out. You know, they've got the objective Corona card they could go out and get. And maybe even as a super sub, like this Otavio card for 100K, people might try him over Neymar, Neymar right? Because it's brand new, fresh Brazil links, stuff like that. So I'd keep an eye on those two cards today. The secondary league and team of the season, like goes overlooked almost all the time. So that's one thing that I would say. Also, fluctuation trading is still alive and well. Look at the Saka, 630,000 coins. He was 575 earlier today. Just because this market is quote unquote broke, uh, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you can't trade cards, right? You, you absolutely can trade cards. So yeah, the thing that I'm most interested in watching out today for is these big boy tots cards because you know what? I feel like it could go both ways. I do feel like they could go up, but if there's really not that much demand for these guys, like Holland went up a lot today after the second guaranteed SBC just because there aren't that many Bundesliga strikers in this game, let alone uh, besides Lewandowski's 2 million coins, how are you going to link uh, you know, Bellingham, how are you going to link the, the Costa that you got or the Waman that you did or even the... Um, the center attacking mid Danny Olmo that you got today. So that's also why I feel like the icons could be a good shout. So we'll be watching all that source of the market today. I'll be opening rewards, uh, you know, a few hours before the content drop. That link will be down below in the description. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting rewards day today on Thursday. Fodder is going to be in the forefront of people's minds, of course, as they're looking to finish SBCs these TOTS cards and Thursday flips, and we'll see what else moves up with the market, but it's going to be an interesting day today on Rewards Day. So I hope you all pack Lewandowski, Sancho's, or Goretzka's in your rewards today. I got silver one, so, you know, I have zero, zero expectations, but last week I got Benzema, so we'll see if I can pull through a silver one OP once again. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.